He is ready now, the winner of the Air Things Masters, Timur Rajavo has joined us now. Timur, huge congratulations on a fantastic performance. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Today it was really tough. Yeah. Please take us through your emotions right now. We did see some tears. It really moved us. What was those tears about? Yeah, it's just, you know, trying to keep the, con I mean, focus and concentration till the, till the very end. And uh, it takes a lot of... Uh, like um, a lot of emotions as well, you know, to, to keep this this way of uh, calmness that I'm trying to produce, not to show the, if I'm happy or unhappy about my position. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it just took me so much energy. I'm like completely exhausted. I, I was trying to take Levon um, to the blitz part of the match, uh, honestly, after checking his games of the preliminaries and then the knockout stage. He was playing like almost perfect chess and uh, very close to his uh, highest level, highest performance that he always shows like uh, when he's in top form. And um, some can say I was playing some kind of dry chess, but mm -hmm. uh, my point was to win the tournament, not to uh, please anyone, to be honest, because, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a professional chess player. So, yeah, whatever. Was it exciting or not? I really don't mind because I just tried to win the tournament in a way I could. So. Yeah, I did uh, all of my best, but about the emotions, yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, sometimes I can get emotional as well. It was really so hard mm. and uh, I'm so happy about it. And Timur, first of all, congratulations. We were all so impressed here by your play throughout the whole nine days. Um, what are your goals for the new year? Mm. Uh, how are you planning to build on this success? Yeah, I think that there can be a no better start of the new year, but there can be certainly a... A bad finish. We're always ready for that. <laughs> you should also know that uh, whatever your emotions are there or not, uh, let's say like my daughter sent me a message yesterday and she said like uh, that congratulations, like super like uh, dry, you know, like that congratulations was a good match, but good luck tomorrow in the next one match of chess or something like this she wrote. And uh, I was like, I mean, uh, can I really do it? I mean, it's so hard. And uh, I, I was sure that today Levon will put a lot of pressure on me, especially with the white color. So the first game uh, was really unpleasant for me. I mean, at, at some point I was completely lost, I guess. I mean, at least the chess bomb was showing like plus five or whatever. And um, yeah, that was really, uh, really annoying because I just felt that my black repertoire is kind of under pressure. And uh, yeah, I tried to keep my calm and keep, keep any position till the very, very end. I don't know what was happening in the last game, but certainly it was about the nerves. And uh, I was really afraid to lose this rook and game. But then I found this nice, nice uh, way of trapping his king on f4, uh, which um, just uh, made me happy because, I mean, otherwise you have to calculate all the time if this one is lost or this one is draw. I mean, this f3, e4 pawns and stuff. So it was really complicated. And you know that uh, Levon is putting pressure in every position till the very end, like all the top players. So I was trying to just keep my focus and uh, yeah, the plans, you know, to play uh, the other more or less eight tournaments that are there on the calendar. So uh, anyway, I'm so happy to be in the in the grand final so 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 fast. And uh, I mean, there could uh, not be any uh, any better start of the year, but uh, certainly took me like uh, all of my energy. I feel as exhausted as after the World Cup, more or less. So that's really cool. So do you have any tips for getting better online chess? Because you really impressed us all with your style of play, with the accuracy and your calmness. Um, the calmness, as I said, is just uh, the way you see it. But uh, many people I know in my throughout my life, I know a lot of people who are like seemingly calm, but in fact, they're very emotional, like inside. But I'm just trying not to show the emotions, and that's that's the point. And uh, at the end, I couldn't because it was really uh, so tense, and uh, I finally saved the game. But uh, yeah, there are no tips. Uh, I mean, just uh, spending your evenings as, as uh, I mean, as good as you can. Maybe take some wine from time to time, but depends uh, on the player and so on. So for me, just uh, work this way. I was trying to prepare a lot, but uh, this was really really hard, and. Um, I was just hoping that I will not uh, uh, play against Magnus at some point. <laughs> <laughs> that was my real hope. And uh, when Duba won, I saw that, okay, maybe this is a chance. Mm. And uh, then when uh, Nipomishi played the game against me and he won in the Blitz part, I said, I mean, okay, Carlson is not there, but I'm losing still. What, what is it like? Mm. And just decided to play this B6. It took me some time to decide for this B6. And I think that was a crucial moment for my confidence throughout the event. Later on, somehow, I just felt... Uh, like uh, 
like I, I was given a second chance or something like that. So before the second Blitz game against Nipomnishi, I saw a timeout, knocked out. So that was, uh, that was really kind of, uh, I don't know if you believe in science or energy and so on, but uh, this was kind of sign that I have to fight till the very, very end. Mm, and we did, we did see your emotions when you realized here at Timor that you are the winner of the Air Things Masters. And we know uh, some years ago you retired from chess, you made a great comeback winning the World Cup in 2019. And now this, how do you feel about the place you're in in your career right now? No, 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 Kaya, I, I didn't retire, but it seemed for everyone that I, I was kind of retired. <laughs> but the point is that I just stopped playing. Uh, um, I mean, I was training a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I was with Chuchilov and uh, also today I was consulting him about the openings, uh, the choices I should make. But uh, I mean, at the time I didn't retire. The, there was a problem. I, I've played this um, 2013 candidates tournament and I just started to lose all of the games against the top players. So I said, I mean, uh, should I just stop it? I mean, uh, like, uh, like brutally, uh, what should I do about it? I mean, I just stopped playing. That, that was the, the only way to proceed because I was playing the super tournaments. I was uh, lacking confidence after the candidates. So I just uh, tried to take a kind of break and work on my chess. I completely changed my repertoire, started to play the Berlin, Berlin and so on before I was only playing the Kings Indian and like Sicilians and stuff. And from time to time, the Queen's Gambit. So Chuchilov said, I mean, this is not the way you have to uh, to be a trendy professional chess player. And uh, I've just changed my style and tried to play in the, some official events. That was that was the case. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. The World Cup really came as a surprise for me because I was really fighting hard there. But once I met uh, against Maxim and Ding Lijen, I was not sure I'm, I'm going to to make it. But um, with Maxim, I don't know, probably David remembers, or maybe you, uh, Jovanka remembers. I think they're, they're looking more, more uh, closely to the, to the, I mean, they were following that event more closely. Uh, Kaya, I, I'm not sure you were following this. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I follow English all your games, Timur, of course I do. Simba Shilagraf, I'm not sure you, you, you were following this. But there, I mean, I catched him on the preparation and th that was very important. Then I won the match somehow against the English, and, which was also surprising. And then, uh, I mean, it brought my confidence on a higher level, of course, because I mean, before that, for many, many years, like since 2013 and 14, I was not able uh, to really perform on what I was supposed to be kind of a player on the top level. And I was just performing uh, much, much lower than, than I would expect and others would expect probably. And uh, this was just uh, due to the lack of the confidence. And uh, I gained it back at some point playing the Shamkir Super Tournament, like finishing on like 50% or plus one, which is very hard in the 20 plus category tournament with Carlson playing and so on. So yeah, I was I was really working hard on it and I'm still working hard on my chess. Um, yeah, during the pandemic, we did a lot of stuff together with uh, Anish and everyone on YouTube and so on. So people saw that we're unable to play a normal chess anymore. We're just, uh, you know, the vloggers, bloggers or whatever you call us. Yeah, but in fact, uh, we're working hard and uh, out of this 12 or 16 players that are playing in the preliminaries and in the knockout stage, any player can win the tournament. That's that that's the that would brings a lot of excitement to this event mm. because any of the players can really win the tournament. It mm. can be anyone. So, yeah, that's really exciting. And uh, I'm very happy to be uh, part of it and certainly to win this event, especially Masters, of course. Mm. And of course, the big question, Timor, how will you celebrate? Uh, well, I mean, um, until the morning, I guess. Ah. <laughs> but I've, I've missed the New Year's Eve. Everybody was calling me saying that, uh, man, why are you not coming? And, and they were proposing different places. I have a lot of friends uh, here as well. And so, yeah, I was just saying I'm playing the tournament and so on. They said, come on, it's a New Year's Eve, who cares and so on. But I said, I mean, okay, it's, uh, it's a really important tournament, so I should really keep my focus till the very, very end. So... Uh, yeah, I didn't celebrate. So now, now more or less, I'm celebrating both the victory and uh, the New Year's Eve and uh, everything else. So I'm super happy about it. Fantastic. And uh, where do you actually rate this victory in your career? A very successful career so far. I would, I know that online chess for many are like, I mean, for many people who are asking, I mean, this the online chess is kind of, they say like, wow, there is OTB and stuff. Uh, now it's not serious, you're playing online. But um, if you see the videos, if you, I mean, take through the, all of the moments throughout the tournament, you can see that these players are really super focused and uh, all of them are super competitive. They want to win and clearly they want to beat each other, especially the top players against, um, you know, when playing, I don't know, Ironian, Carlson, Dubov, other players, 
uh, in the circuit. Certainly, uh, they want to beat each other, and this is um, this is the thing. I mean, they take it very seriously, I and mean, we take most of our games very seriously. But sometimes, of course, there are some kind of I don't know backhouse chess or something. We don't take it seriously. <laughs> but this kind of professional classical chess that I mean, you are playing. I mean, the classical way, not nine sixty or something. So uh, everyone is very serious about it, and you could see Aronian today, and me, and any other player. Like uh, there is a, one other super exciting match, Dubov against uh, Maxim Vashelagraf as well. Uh, I mean, they're playing for the third place, but can you tell that they're playing for the third? They're like playing for the world crown, more or less. Mm, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and it's so exciting. I was uh, unable yesterday to focus myself on my matches because I mean, on my games, and uh, I was just following their games. They were so exciting. I mean, this <laughs> night or of Dubov and all that stuff. Yeah, so everybody takes it super seriously. I mean, this is the case because we're all professionals there and whatever our emotions, New Year's Eve and so on, we have to perform just like, uh, you know, the medical workers, surgeons, mm. I don't know, uh, whatever. Yeah, just the professional that have to perform on the, uh, I mean, on the highest level they, they, they can really achieve. So in this case, I think I've really played, I mean, today first game was, was really bad, seriously bad. And... Um, I don't know if I would lose it. Um, I mean, would I be able to come back somehow? But uh, yeah, I was really happy that I saved it. And it seemed that I'm on the verge of losing. And uh, it proved to be after I checked the, checked the computer's analysis, of course. Mm. Yeah. So I'm very happy that the luck was on my side as well. This is super important. In, uh, in this event with the super like players, like top players, without the luck, uh, you're just unable to win the tournament. Maybe Magnus can, but others can't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, can issue. Well, Timur, we are so happy for you. Big, big congratulations again on a huge win. And we'll see you again in the next tournament. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Big congratulations. congratulations. Yeah. <laughs>